guys, how's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys daily deals with Tim, where I talk about tech, crypto, and stock deals, all for you guys. And before I begin, this is my personal opinion and not a financial advice. So today, I'm going to try to answer the question, when will Litecoin hit $500? So $500 is actually a pretty large amount as we are around 52 right now. So that would be a 10 times increase than where we are currently. Now, it is possible looking at the history of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and even Litecoin, it was at pretty low and even going up to $52, that is a pretty huge task. However, going to look at <clears throat> when will it go up to 500. Now, um, before I begin, I do not have a crystal ball, so I don't have a clear, accurate prediction, but I could make some uh, educated guesses based on the previous evidence that I have. And um, so far, I think 500 is going to be a long-term goal. So in the short term, um, it could go up to 100. Because as you guys have seen, it went almost to 100 during, during the, um, right before the China FUD. We almost went to 100 in certain exchanges and 100 is definitely a possible. However, I believe that has to be a healthy growth to 100 to 200 to 300. It cannot just be a surge up in a couple of days because what follows that is an immediate down as well. And if you guys see, uh, Bitcoin or uh, Litecoin usually follows similar to Bitcoin as well as, the, or, as those two are uh, one of the most popular currencies that's trading. So uh, it's going to have to have a slow but steady growth up, I believe. And for right now, um, rather than looking at the question, will it go to 500? I, I believe the better question is how is the price going to uh, go right now? And looking at the Litecoin price, um, I was hoping that it would break, break down the $60 mark, $60 to $61 mark, because once it breaks that, they, that gives me a little more assurance that um, Litecoin is going on a bull trend, which means it's going on an uptrend. However, um, looking at this, this is quite um, not, not um, afraid, but more like just it seems like it's stabilizing right now in an equal pace. So as you guys can see, right after the rise from the China FUD, it went down about around like 30% down from this, this $52 mark and went back up around the same mark and then came, it's going back down again today. So uh, as you guys can see, this, this line seems to be the stabilization. And as I have talked about a couple days ago, it is uh, holding around this line and I do see some um, couple of converging lines from here so if you guys look at it um, from here um, to here let's see yeah so if you make some couple of lines from here to here it is kind of converging towards this kind of this focal point over here as it gets closer and closer and closer um i have heard that from traditional uh technical analysis that as the wedge converges upwards there is a high po uh, possibility that it's going to drop after that however if it if it uh breaks the converging line and goes up to right here there's a better um better assumption that it's going to have a bear market trend. However, looking at it right now, uh, it's looking pretty, um, well, I can't say it's the one way or the other. So um, again, we'll have to wait for this, see how it goes, but um, wait, did it just drop? Oh, what the heck? There was a big drop to up to 50 right here, or Maybe I'm just looking at it wrong. No, there was a drop to 50. So from 53, there was a drop to 50 um, just, yeah, pretty recently. So that is interesting. Um, if it continues this path, because uh, once there is a big uh, sell-off or a buy-off, uh, other people are like to join in together. So this is not a 
this is not a good sign of a, a bull market as that is a pretty huge drop from 53 to 50. That is almost a, let's see, that's almost a like a six, seven percent drop within an hour or so. So it's looking kind of um, going on a bear market trend for Litecoin, but I can't really tell from the um, specific right now. But if you look at it at a long term period around the let's look at the year to date time. So if you guys look at it right here, this is where we are at currently. And there has been this overall downtrend. If you guys can see, there is a giant downtrend going here. So uh, it was all the way at the peak, the high point. And this is the high point that or this is the top of the candle week wick. There hasn't been there has been a, a downtrend and it doesn't there is no sign of breaking this point right here. So if it continues to go down, I do not know how far it goes down, but it is definitely possible that it can go back to around 40 ish this range and then come back up again. But even if it goes down, I believe that um, it will pro it will probably come back to 52 range ish. Um, because as you have seen right here, when there is a drop below the 52 line, there was an immediate gain all the way to 55 ish in matters of hours. So um, you might you guys might see it drop past uh, 45 ish around the time where it dropped. But I believe that it will come back to this line over here, 52 uh, mark around there and I don't, I'm, not, I'm not really sure when it will go back up, but I'll have to do more research on that. Also, uh, one thing I didn't mention about uh, when Litecoin will go up to $500 is that it's dependent on a lot of news and technology as well. So uh, by news, what I mean is that uh, Litecoin and Atomic Swap, that is a one of the biggest um, news for Litecoin or something that's coming up for Litecoin. And today, um, I haven't noticed this, but... I just saw a tweet from Decred saying that just completed the first Decred to Litecoin cross chain atomic swap with Satoshi Lite with Charlie Lee. Huge shout out for debugging with us. More info coming soon. So Litecoin has a successful atomic swap with Decred, and that is very surprising because I haven't heard a lot of news from Decred and that they're going to be activating atomic swap with Litecoin. But I do remember saying, uh, seeing one of the videos from Decred YouTube channel and Charlie Lee was on there for a couple of videos, I believe. So that is good sign because from Decred to Litecoin, that will actually uh, get more volume up from those two. And once that is starts going, I believe the Bitcoin to Litecoin will activate as well. And that's going to put a lot of volume and um, interest into Litecoin as well. And another, another thing, um, the price of Litecoin, I believe it depends on the spending of Litecoin as well. So what I mean by that is that the more people spend the Litecoin, I believe more transactions will happen and more people will buy Litecoin. And right now, uh, spending Litecoin isn't at the isn't that the greatest right now? So if you guys want to spend Litecoin, you would probably have to exchange it to a fiat money and then go to your local, I don't know, bank or store to buy it. But there isn't a direct, um, direct connection from Litecoin to spending. You either have to con uh, convert it to a fiat money or you could probably buy something online, but there isn't a lot of online stores that offer Litecoin as payment. So I believe that the price of Litecoin is also dependent on companies like um, 10X because they are developing a payment system where you guys could uh, use any cryptocurrency at a, at, with a physical card and you would simply just uh, put the, the debit card in and confirm it on your phone and then voila, this transaction would happen. And I believe that more transactions that happen like that would actually increase Litecoin and other cryptocurrencies up because the more you spend, the more, the more you need to recharge that card. And I believe that that would actually uh, make a good volume of Litecoin and other cryptos as well. So 
following that, I'll be definitely spending more time researching the different ways how Litecoin can uh, increase its volume and price as well. So if you guys like this kind of content, like this video, comment below and smash that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to support the channel, check out the affiliate links below. I really appreciate that. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.